Welcome back. Previously with Rob and Sherry, they go to Lake Powell and do a trip around Antelope Island. They also take the time to explain to people why they bought a powerboat and not a sailboat. In this episode, Rob and Sherry could not go out on the boat due to wind. However, they take you on a hair-raising journey to the Glen Canyon Dam. Hey guys, it's day three and it's in the morning and it's windy again. And you might be able to see, you probably can hear the wind too, sorry. So today we're gonna go hop in the car and we go get some breakfast, see what kind of trouble we can get into. And Cinder's ready to go for her walk and go potty. And uh, it's still a beautiful day up here, it's just windy. So we probably won't be taking the boat out for a while. And tomorrow we have to take the boat loaded on the trailer so that should be interesting so that's what's going on today well today as we told you it was really windy so we couldn't go out in the boat so we went to page and we're doing something we've always wanted to do it's windy so i probably will have to put music or something to this but we're at the Glen canyon dam is that right mm -hmm. uh which is the dam that holds back uh lake powell and it's beautiful and we've always wanted to stop here and go off on the bridge so the pictures from this point on will be pictures from the bridge and i hope you enjoy it and uh we'll see how we do with the wind Well, that bridge was kind of fun. It was a little shaky, so when the trucks went over it, it shook, so it was kind of spooky, and I don't like heights that well, but actually it wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't bad. But it was kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Now, we're at a scenic view that we haven't been to before that shows, uh, well, at least this end of uh, Lake Powell really well. And so you can kind of see through the windshield here. And we're gonna grab the other camera and take a look and let you see. 
it's really windy so once again i'll probably have to put music to it so anyway lake powell So later on we returned to the boat and Cinder decided she needed to go to the bathroom. And so we thought we'd go through the process with you of how we manage that. It's actually quite a long walk down the marina to work our way to a specified pet area. In most cases this doesn't take that long but with Cinder it seems like everybody wants to stop and say hello to her. So once we get through all the hellos we get her up to the hillside and Sherry takes her up to the hill and she does her thing. That's where I come in to pick up the bag and take it over to the doggy basket. And Poopy taken care of. <laughs> Happy dog. So the next thing we do is walk back towards the boat, but not before she gets to do a little bit of swimming. So of course, down she goes into the water dips her belly into the water like she always does and does a little happy dance mom takes her back around we get together she makes sure and shakes off nearby and gets the rest of us all wet we take her back to the boat and this is our process to get her back on so we go to the end of the boat sherry will step onto the boat first open the little door and voila you will see Cinder's little jump and she's in. Done deal. So after a great day of sightseeing and taking care of domestic responsibilities, now it's time to sit back with our favorite child <laughs> and watch the sunset. We want to thank everybody for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and time to relax. Stay tuned for the next episode when we pull the boat out of Lake Powell and bring it home. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.